New Year's is usually the deadliest day on roads across the country because of crashes related to alcohol. And in 2002, two families' lives were changed forever when a then 19-year-old man drove drunk and killed a woman in a wrong-way accident. In the 15 years since, he has asked for and received forgiveness and is now dedicating his life to keep others, including his victim's nephew, from going down the same path. NBC's Carrie Sanders has his story. The John Templeton driving the car and the one in that mugshot are 15 years apart. And I never planned to drink that night. I never certainly planned to drink and drive. Only 19 at the time, John drove his car drunk, speeding on the wrong side of a Tampa interstate, slamming into two cars, killing 18-year-old Julie Buckner. I think about Julie and just that this is the spot where, at 18 years old, you know, her life ended because of my choice. A drinking and driving story that, as you'll see, takes turns no one could have ever expected. It begins with a highly unusual admission, as the Highway Patrol report noted on the night of the accident, with a blood alcohol of .225, John Templeton confessed. I knew better than to drink and drive, he said. What will her family think of me? In a move that makes lawyers cringe. I'm the sister of Julie Buckner. The victim's family got a surprise visit from John. He said, I am here against my attorney's advisement. I am he I'm here against all counsel. An apology. But I am here because I am deeply sorry. My name is John Templeton. Then testimonials. Please learn from my mistake. Don't jeopardize your life, your future. Repeatedly talking to teenagers. It can't happen to you. All of this before trial before sentencing. I've always been a great believer that if you take a life, you have to pay something. Rex Barbas, a no-nonsense judge who's heard more than a thousand drunk driving cases, but in this case, he saw something different. He always acknowledged his guilt, and that was the very first thing I noted about him. How did that impact you? I would say 99.99% .99 of all the criminal cases I've ever had, nobody has ever acknowledged their criminality from the very beginning of a case. Judge Barbas could have sentenced Templeton to 15 years in prison. Instead, he chose leniency. Templeton served only 10 months in the county lockup. I went out on a limb. Frankly, I went out on a big limb. A judicial gamble that the victim's family remarkably supported. So I still carry a picture of Julie in my wallet. Once out of jail, it led John to a career he would understand better than most, addiction counselor with his own addiction treatment facility. It's just another part of the forgiveness story and the redemption story. Why is this so different? This is not what we expect. No, it's not what we expect. I'm still mad at that 19-year-old. Um, that's a different person. I'm no longer that, that guy. And here's where the story comes full circle. Jennifer, whose sister was killed by John, adopted Alvin when he was nine years old. Alvin's now battling his own addiction problem. And guess who's helping him recover? John, the man who killed his aunt. So I feel like if anything, she's looking down and she's smiling on him and letting him know, hey, it's okay, I forgive you and thank you for helping my family. Is this redemption? I feel like disrespectful to Julie just saying that this is redemption because it's not. Redemption, maybe not, but for John Templeton, a chance to spend a lifetime tempting for a fatal mistake. For Sunday Today, Kerry Sanders, Tampa.